this time, would you please stand for the presentation of colors and join in the singing of our national anthem. Thereafter, please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please be seated. Good evening, Lejeune High School. I am Jonathan Connor. It is my pleasure to welcome you to this evening's commencement ceremony for the class of 2024. We are gathered here today to celebrate this significant milestone in the lives of these young men and women. I would like to introduce Dr. Todd Carver, principal of Lejeune High School. Welcome seniors, parents, family members, and staff of Lejeune High School. It is my honor and pleasure to welcome you to the graduation ceremonies for the class of 2024. I would like to introduce and convey sincere appreciation to our distinguished guests who are participating this evening in our graduation ceremony. Colonel Ralph J. Rizzo, Jr., Commander, Marine Corps Installations East, Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune. Sergeant Major Ryan Necco, Sergeant Major of Marine Corps Installation East, Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune. Dr. Angela Lemonsky, Acting Superintendent, Mid-Atlantic District, Department of Defense Education Activity. Mr. Ryan Smith, Community Superintendent, Camp Lejeune Community Schools. Mr. Matthew Craig, Assistant Principal, Lejeune High School. Dr. Patricia Robley, Senior Class Sponsor. Ms. Autumn Campbell, Counselor. Ms. Leanne Mastro Pasqua, Teacher. And Mr. Jonathan Connor, teacher and narrator for our commencement exercise. I also want to extend a sincere thank you and appreciation to members of our 2nd Marine Division Band for playing our musical instruments tonight.
I want to express my deep appreciation for the commitment and service of our distinguished faculty and staff of Lejeune High School. I am forever grateful for your exceptional level of instructional leadership and unwavering support for our military connected families and students. It is because of your untiring efforts that we celebrate the level of success we've achieved this school year. As I complete my first full year at Lejeune High School, I hold in high regard this exceptional group of students gathered here tonight. I met with the senior class back in August and provided my expectations. As our senior class, you are our leaders on campus. You set the example. Right into your path. Know that the accomplishments we acknowledge tonight are the foundation upon which your future is to be built. Holding the title of principal of Lejeune High School is an incredible honor, but the realization that I'm here with the class of 2024 is an honor that I will forever carry. To the class of 2024, I am proud of you. I celebrate you, and I'm humbled to have spent this school year with each of you. Tonight, we hold a ceremony where we transition you from student to alumni. I want to personally thank each of you for your hard work and tireless efforts in meeting the standards of excellence expected as you complete this transition. Once a devil pup, always a devil pup. I would now like to turn the time over to Ms. Isabella Heiser, Student Government Executive Board President. Good evening, esteemed faculty, cherished families and friends, and fellow graduates. In front of you, we celebrate the graduating class of 2024. We gather here today to recognize our 12 years of hard work and commitment. As you can see, there's not many of us here. We only have 68 in total, with 5,877 graduates before us. We, as Devil Pups, are bold and powerful, just like our namesake, the Devil Dog. The students of the graduating class of 1945 adopted the devil pup in honor of the Marines who fought at the Battle of Bella Woods in 1918 during the First World War. The German ar army quickly realized that they were no match for their ferociousness of the Marines during the battle and naming them Tufel Hudden, or as we know it, the devil dog. Although the name is not awarded to many people in the world, its ability to strike fear into the hearts of the enemies is unmatched. It's unique and distinct, just as we, the devil pups. As the children of service men and women, we are some of the most powerful souls to have ever graced the earth. We have faced cross-country moves, parents' deployments, losing friends, and so much more. And yet we stand in the face of adversity every time. This year alone, we have accomplished so much, such as raising almost $2 million in scholarships. While some of us are fortunate to stay at Lejeune for four years, a majority of our class has attended more than one high school. But we have persevered and adapted to the changes which have only made us stronger as a class. Well, looking back, I know majority of us thought that high school was going to be like the movies, and we couldn't wait until it was our time to graduate. But now that we're here, we need to enjoy the moment and be fully present with our accomplishments that you brought here. While our chapter closes for our high school careers, a new one opens not only for us, but for our incoming devil pups. They will participate in the same exciting moments such as homecoming and prom, the building of friendships, and other small but cherishable high school experiences. Today is where we leave our mark and our memories will be passed on. Yet today is also the start of a new chapter with new life experiences beginning such as new friendships and challenges. Life is short and you never know where you might be in the next few years or who you will be, so live your life to the fullest. Take the lessons you learned from high school to improve your skills and grow as an individual. 
While I look at my class, I see individuals who worked so hard to get to this moment and never gave up no matter how hard they had to fight off senioritis. However, I'm proud of every single person who will walk this stage tonight. While this might be the last goodbye or see you later for a while, I hope to cheer you on from the sidelines and see you accomplish amazing things. Remember, this is just the beginning of it all. As the motto goes, once a devil pup, always a devil pup. Congratulations to the class of 2024. Thank you. I would like to introduce Ms. Leanne Mastro Pasqual, one of our science teachers, to introduce this year's salutatorian. It gives me great pleasure to introduce this year's salutatorian, Abigail Kellum. Abby has achieved many accomplishments through her high school career, completing seven AP classes in which she excelled in, accomplishing an AP capstone diploma, and also completing other higher level academic courses or, excuse me, <clears throat> elective courses throughout her high school career. She is a one-of-a-kind student who has so many desirable qualities. When I think of Abby, a quote by Stephen Hawking comes to mind. Quiet people often have the busiest minds. Abby, this is Abby to a T. She speaks very little but there is always a constant storm of neuronal connections taking place, forming new ideas and mastering concepts. That mastery is displayed by her personality and confidence, which she shows in her classwork and performance in extracurricular activities. I had Abby early in her high school career. And I'm pretty sure the only time that I heard her speak was to correct me when I made a mistake on one of her tests or when I wrote the wrong variable on the board. Thanks for having my back, Abby. <laughs> this year, though, I have watched her come into her own and start to find her voice. I also learned a little bit more about Abby, what her future plans are, and things that she enjoys. And of course, always checking to make sure that I did her test right. <laughs> Ms. Olson spoke to her evolution beginning as a freshman, hardly speaking, and then coming into her own at her senior year as a bright beacon and a voice of reason to her fellow classmates who struggled to share their ideas. Other teachers have called her a rock star, a student who always shows up with a smile on her face, and a student who displays excellence in everything that she does. Abby, you have a bright future ahead of you. Continue to write the next chapter and learn to live the Who's Your Life at Indiana University. Continue to find your voice and share with the world all of your great qualities, successes, and goals that you have. Abby, it truly has been a pleasure to serve, not just to be, but to serve as your teacher. Without further ado, Miss Abigail Kellum. Good evening, friends, family, faculty, and fellow graduates. 
This night marks a momentous occasion to commemorate the hard work and effort we have put in to accomplish this feat and be here graduating tonight. This is a significant milestone in our lives that we have worked tirelessly to, tirelessly to reach. And we have, only, we have only been able to do so by overcoming the many challenges thrown our way in our academic and personal lives. In his renowned book, The Book of Tea, Kakuzo Akakura said, said, the art of life lies in a constant readjustment to our surroundings. This quote resonated with me because I feel like we have a lot of experience with adjusting to new environments. For most of us, as children of parents in the military, our lives have been defined by change and, and frequent readjustments. We have moved schools, moved states, and some of us have even moved out of the country. However, those experience, experiences have taught us how to overcome life-altering altering challenges by being adaptable and resilient. We've adjusted by learning to make new friends, adapt quickly, and never give up. This year in particular has brought about significant changes that have deeply impacted our high school experience. From the outset, we were confronted with a series of adjustments. For some of the graduating seniors, this was their first year at LHS and they have admirably succeeded in carving a place for themselves despite the daunting task of fitting in, fitting in at a new school, a feeling most of us relate to. Furthermore, many changes within the school itself impacted our experiences as students and have led to a change in the atmosphere of the school. It, is, it has been a pleasure to see the school change from a place where the students were angry and resentful to a warm, welcoming environment where, stu where students are free to express themselves in ways they couldn't before. A revised dress code now allows students to express their uniqueness through what they wear. We also transitioned to a new principal, who has been very friendly, supportive of student activities, and has shown a refreshing interest in what students are doing. Of course, along with that comes new policies and rules that, while they are a big adjustment, have been steps towards the betterment of the school. And this all goes to show the positive side of all the change, many changes we have faced in our lives. In addition to changes in principles, there have been many changes to the teachers at the school itself. The presence of new teachers and long-term substitutes, substitutes presented us with unique academic challenges, testing our ability to adapt and persevere in the face of uncertainty as the expectations, rules, and teaching styles in class changed numerous times throughout the year. The obstacles we have faced have played a part in shaping us into the individuals we are today. It is important that as we move forward, we hold on to the lessons we have learned up to this point, because even though we will soon be departing on separate paths, saying goodbye to friends and familiar classrooms, we are bound, by our, bound together by our shared experiences and the skills we have acquired to progress to this point in our lives. Our futures will require us to use those same skills and face new challenges with the same adaptability and, resi and resilience. Whether we plan on continuing our education or immediately entering our careers, Every day will be unpredictable and test our abilities. The same resiliency being celebrated tonight will help us navigate the uncertain future. The future will test us every day, and if we continue to carry the knowledge and skills from high school with us into our futures, we'll be capable of confidently approaching hardships, knowing that we are resilient enough and possess the skills necessary to overcome them. There are many people and many other factors to thank for their influence in aiding us on our journey to this point one of which is the people in our lives who have supported us on this journey. Our families have raised us and taught us the skills necessary to succeed, our friends who have supported us and struggled with us, and the teachers who have challenged us. Even though it may not have been easy and probably not appreciated at the time, being pushed to our limits has, and challenged has prepared us for the future by proving to ourselves that we are capable of overcoming difficult situations because the many people who have supported us during high school have left, left, left us with lasting lessons and experiences that we will carry with us for years to come. However, we also need to take a moment to appreciate the individual characteristics that have aided us. Our tenacity, resilience, and hard work have been instrumental in reaching this point. These qualities are what have given us the hope and persistence necessary to face obstacles and try again when we fail. Our personal qualities, coupled with the individuals in our lives, have set us up for the future by instilling virtual virtues a resilience in us. Thanks to our own efforts and those of the people in our lives, when we come face to face with a new problem, obstacle, or adversity, we'll be able to confidently approach the challenge head on, knowing that we can succeed because we've done it countless times before, so why wouldn't we be capable, capable of doing it again? Thank you.
I would like to introduce Ms. Autumn Campbell. You will hear her name. Paige is a quiet leader, strong academic, and fierce competitor. She has put her nose to the grindstone, excelling in all of her classes, including three accelerated courses, two honors courses, 13 AP classes to include the AP Capstone Diploma Program, and nearly 10 additional credits beyond what Dodea requires to graduate. Paige's AP U.S. History teacher noted that it is the attitude that Paige brings to her learning which helps her to exceed expectations. Dr. Halsupple emphasized that it is Paige's strong character and grace that allowed her to excel in her leadership roles, even in the face of repeated obstacles. I would be remiss if I didn't mention Paige's selfless giving and the over 400 hours of community service she has performed. But I truly believe it is the greater trait of grit that Paige has practiced over and over again that has helped her reach her many accomplishments and has been so fun to witness. It is that same attitude that just a week ago at the 1A straight state track meet led to this scenario. With one race to go, the Lady Pups were sitting at fourth place overall. The girls find out they are only five points behind the second place team but the 4 by 400 meter relay team would need to shave off at least 12 seconds from the best time, their best time to finish in the top four. Now, Paige had already run the last leg of the 4 by 800 meter relay, and the team set a PR. She had also run the 1600 open meter run, which she had PR'd, and the open 800 meter run, which she had also PR'd and placed fourth in the state. Coach Bryant talked to each of the girls on the relay team about the times needed and let Paige know that she would need to take three seconds off of her record to help the team get there. Her response, I got this coach. And she did, they all did. Helping the Lady Pups track team place second overall in the state. Coach, yeah. <laughs> Coach Bryant said this sums up Paige's, a.k.a. the beast, to her teamwork, work ethic, drive, and dedication at LHS. Paige always goes above and beyond on the track and in the classroom. Ms. Beavers added that Paige doesn't understand half speed or an easy day. She goes all out. It is that same grit and can-do attitude that Paige has shown throughout her time at LHS and in all that she does which is why she was selected as SGA junior class president, this year's ROTC battalion commander, cross country captain, and ultimately has earned her an appointment at the United States Naval Academy. We are all better for having spent the last four years being inspired by this year's valedictorian, the beast, Paige Berthold. Thank you so much for your kind words, Ms. Campbell. And welcome, distinguished guests, esteemed faculty, proud families and friends, and fellow graduates of the class of 2024. Today marks a significant milestone in our lives, an important event that we have all eagerly anticipated. As we gather here to celebrate our achievements, it is a profound honor to stand before you and represent our amazing class of 2024. First, I would like to give a great thank you to all who have helped me where I am right now. I'm so grateful for my mom and dad who have always been there for me, for my brother who is sadly at summer training and cannot make it, my extended family who traveled from distances to come and see me, and all my friends throughout high school, even if I'm not as close to them anymore. I'm also grateful for all the amazing teachers and people that this school has to offer, and also would not be standing here without them. I like to think that each person is placed in your life for a reason, whether they stay or do not. But each person I have met along this journey has helped guide me to the path of who I am today, and I'm very grateful for them. I'm very grateful to them for that. The atmosphere we have grown in has had a particular impact on our path to this day. 
Our experiences and ideals gained by living and studying on a military installation distinguish us from our other students in the United States. We have seen the bravery and commitment of our parents and guardians who selflessly and honorably serve our nation. We owe them our thanks for their constant support and for teaching us the values of service and resiliency. Although I am fortunate to have my father by my side for most of my high school career, I'm aware that not many others can say the same. However, even though we all have had different struggles in regards to our parents and the military, we all pushed through and are here today. Living as a military child, we have learned to embrace change and face uncertainty with strength and grace. span the length of our childhoods. The joys and the sorrows, the laughs and the tears, the goodbyes and the hellos. As we prepare to embark on the next chapter of our lives, let us carry forth the values that, we, that have been instilled on us, duty, honor, and selflessness. Whether we choose to follow in the footsteps of our parents and serve our country or pursue a different path, let us always strive to make a positive impact on the world around us. We are class leaders, innovators, and change makers. The future holds endless possibilities, and we are ready to meet them head on. We have the power to shape the future, to advocate for justice, and to create a world that reflects the values we hold dear. To my fellow graduates, congratulations. We have achieved something remarkable, and this is only the beginning. Let us go forward with courage, determination, and a commitment to excellence. Together, we, we can accomplish anything. Thank you, and congratulations to the class of 2024. I would now like to introduce Isaac Cooley, Senior Class Secretary, and Riley Nelson, Senior Class Treasurer, to present the class gift. Good evening. It is tradition that the senior class presents the school with a gift. On behalf of the graduating class of 2024, I am honored to be part of this tradition today. This year, we are excited to gift the school a karaoke machine and a new spirit bone. We hope the karaoke machine will bring fun and creativity to school events. The new spirit bone represents our wish for the school spirit to continue to thrive, bringing energy and pride to all future classes. We wanted to give gifts this year that would have great meaning to everyone. Earlier this year, we lost a beloved faculty member, Ms. Shirley Bryan, who spent nearly five decades at Camp Lejeune schools. To honor her impact on so many students' lives in science and culinary arts, we are placing a plaque outside the culinary arts kitchen in her memory and in honor of the program she started and cherished. For our final senior class gift, we will donate the remainder of our funds to support the rising freshmen, sophomore, and junior classes, as well as FBLA and French Club to to help continue their missions. Thank you. It is my pleasure to introduce this year's senior class president, Megan Howard, to give the president address. Thank you, Mr. Connor, and thank you, esteemed guests, friends, faculty, family, and fellow graduates for being here today. It's an honor to celebrate this milestone with you as your class president. These past four years have not been easy. From COVID our freshman year to budgetary stalls our senior year, we haven't really had what you might consider a typical teenage experience. 
but I think it's the it's in these challenging times that we must put away our troubles and rely on our friends. We've experienced so many ups and downs during our high school journey. We've had a lot of fun times together, such as our proms, um, senior sunrises, bowling, random Starbucks runs before school, and homecomings. Through it all, I believe it's those that are closest to us that have made these some of the best of times. It's the friends who have pulled the all-nighters with us because we procrastinated on our assignments. Uh, it's those who have lent a shoulder to us when things got too overwhelming, or even those who celebrated all our achievements, no matter how small. There are so many people who come and go in our lives, but I hope that through our time here, we have each found someone who will be in our lives for a bit longer. Someone who help us grow, push us forward uh, towards the future, and will be there when things go back to black. Elizabeth Foley once said, the most beautiful discovery true friends make is that they can grow separately without growing apart. Even as we go our separate ways, we will never truly be apart from those we love. As this chapter closes in our lives, I hope the one continu continuity will be the true friends we have made along the way. Because without them, none of, none of us would be who we are today. Thank you. It is my pleasure to introduce this year's Executive Board Secretary, Adriana Alba, to explain the meaning of the Rose Ceremony. <clears throat> the ceremony that is about to begin holds a special meaning and significance in each of our hearts as graduates. We have all had our own ups and downs, learning how to juggle our social lives and school, while watching parents do the same day in and day out. It is sometimes easy to feel like this is the end. We're young adults and soon officially about to finish our high school career. But we have so much more to learn about the world around us. Our journey is far from over. In fact, it's only just now beginning. It is easy to forget about all the people who have helped us along the way, shaping us into the young adults that we are today. While it is easy for us to forget, our parents and guardians will never forget. They remember us as little kids, transitioning into the young adults that are sitting before them today. They've seen us through our struggles more than anyone else. They've been there through it all, helping shape us into the best versions of ourselves. We are uniquely made up of all the love and support that our families have provided throughout the years. Since our gratitude and thanks for being there goes unnoticed from time to time. Today, the class of 2024 would like to honor our parents and guardians with two roses, one yellow and one red symbolizing our love and gratitude for you, just as you have for us. Although it may be hard to let us leave the nest, this is the next step in our new journey. We have made it to this point because of your guidance. There's a vase that is located on the left in front of the stage. When the student places their rose inside of this and guardians, Thank you again for the bottom of our hearts for being there when we did not think we needed anyone. Here's to making you proud and cherishing every moment with you as we embark on our new journey. Seniors, please rise and deliver your roses.
I would like to ask Dr. Carver to verify the class of 2024. Mr. Smith, I verify as principal of Lejeune High School that after a careful records review, the seniors who are participating in the 2024 graduation ceremony have met the Department of Defense education activity criteria and requirements for graduation and as such will now be presented with a diploma from Lejeune High School. In addition, connecting to the rich tradition of the military and to honor the hard work, resilience, and sacrifice of our military-connected students. Each graduate will receive a principal's coin to commemorate this special occasion. Lily Berthold. <laughs> Abigail Rose Kellum. Megan Riley Howard. <laughs> Marin Johanna Elise Pretty. Isaac James Cooley. <clears throat> Riley Jane Nelson. Ryder Michael Johansson. <laughs> Isabella Alexis Heiser. Adriana Michelle Alba. <laughs> Kyra Mamie Janelle Ahmad. Haley Bren Antonek. <laughs> Keegan Matthew Antonek. Xander Nohea Cade Antonio. Soledad M. R.C. J. 
Jaden Jude Bamba. Zakaya Brooke Lene Bentley. Jordan Alexander Blackmore Briggs. Antonio Tashawn Brown. Nathan Eugene Browning. Cheyenne Bryant. John Christopher Buckley. Caleb Ty Cahoon. Austin Ryan Cruz. Ella May Derrick. Patrick Ryan English. Samantha Escobar. Jose Francisco Ferreras. Anthony Geronimo. <laughs> Judith Elizabeth Necco. Jago Gonzaga. <laughs> Abigail Gonzalez. <laughs> Lauren Elizabeth Gordon. Timothy Michael Haller. Cole Dayton Huckabee. Anthony Lee Hurst.
Andrew Kai Imamura. John Alexander Kerr. Challen Justice Kimball. Tatiana Lockett Palmer. <laughs> Nevea Shabri McAfee. Christopher Lee McNeil. Renee Tamika Nelson. Today Ortiz <laughs> Melanie Aurora Ortiz Siobhan Phillips. <laughs> Mikhail Nicholas Carl Ransom. <laughs> Alicia Renalik. Marika Monique Rodriguez Quintana. <laughs> Madison Isabella Ruberte. Catherine May Scott. <laughs> Dominic David Akio Sharp. Zaylin Shelby. Yeah. 
Yasir Tara Shorty. Logan Wayne Shover. <laughs> Carly Joan Schuler. Vaughn Smith. <laughs> Riley Aiden Stevenson. Liliana Angel Strayan. John Christian Tegel. Ashley Renee Thompson. <laughs> Isabella Remy Thompson. <laughs> David Alexander Uribe. Alexander Gabriel Velez Miranda. Emma Marie Waybright. Robert Willis. James Alexander Wing. Amaya Nicole Winston. Mr. Smith, will you please do the honor of confirming the qualifying seniors of Lejeune High School as graduates of the Department of Defense at Lejeune High School? Could I please have the class of 2024 stand? On behalf of the Department of Defense Education Activity and its director, Ms. Beth Narvez, I certify the seniors before you today have met the requirements for high school graduation. I have the honor and privilege to announce that you, as a member of the class of 2024, are now graduates of Lejeune High School. Congratulations.
would now like to introduce Marin Pretty, Senior Class Vice President, and Paige Berthold and writer Joe Hansen, Senior Class Senators, who will lead the class in the ceremonial turning of the tassel. Good evening, everyone. I'm honored to be here with you all today. My colleagues and I are here to lead the turning of the tassel ceremony the last thing we will do as high school students together. The turning of the tassel is a long-held tradition that symbolizes a graduate's transition from one stage of life to the next. Although we are excited to move forward from high school, I'd like to take a moment to reminisce on what we've overcome. The lengthy homework assignments, the frustrating group projects, the stress over our grades, and so much more that has led us to this moment. We'd like to congratulate the class of 2024 for coming this far. But we'd also like to take a moment to thank the people who have always been there for us when we need them the most. Our teachers, faculty, friends, and especially our parents and family. Thank you for pushing us to strive for our dreams and teaching us the things we need to succeed in life. Finally, to my fellow graduates, thank you for giving us a fun and welcoming environment to learn and grow. As we turn our tassels today, moving on to the next stage of our life, we implore you to always remember those who have supported us along the way. The graduation tassel is a symbol of success. Not many know the origin of this tradition. Most believe the reason why we place a tassel on the right prior to graduating is because graduates have earned the right to graduate. Once we turn our tassels, we will no longer be high school students, but adults, ready to go forth into the world with the skills and knowledge our high school journey has given us. I'd like to ask my fellow graduates to please rise. Okay. <laughs> my bad, guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, I would like you to join Marin, Ryder, and I in turning our tassels from the right to the left. <laughs> Congratulations, class of 2024.